Hello, my fellow Hitalians, and welcome back to Hetifax. As you know, I have been in the fandom for many years. I am very old. During my time in this fandom, I have met a lot of shippers. I have seen ships of all shapes and sizes, and I have met the crew members that run them. And I have noticed that many crew members often share certain traits or ship certain ships. So this is a compilation of my observations. This is what your ship says about you, or I suppose you could call it a shipping horoscope. And I know a couple of people recently did this, but I've had this saved as a draft for almost a year. It's just unfortunate timing. So without further ado, here is what your ships say about you. But before we begin, two things. One, I know this isn't 100% accurate and perfect for everyone. This is a generalization. It's just for fun. So no bitching in the comments. Two, I know that I do not have every ship in here. That's because I am not able to give a shipping horoscope for every single ship. Some ships are so universally shipped that it's impossible to give a generalization when I'm talking about literally everyone. Or maybe there's just not enough shippers for me to see the similarities between the types of people that ship them. Maybe the people that ship a ship have nothing in common whatsoever. Also, do you know how many ships there even are in Hitalia? Alright, disclaimer done. Let's get to some shipping horoscopes. Let's start off with this. You can normally tell what kind of ships someone ships depending on who they ship England with. This falls into three categories. Fruck, US UK, or neither. Scenario 1, US UK. You most likely ship Spamano, and you probably ship Franida too. Maybe Prucan. US UK shippers will almost always have a ship for Canada. They most likely won't ship France with anyone if they don't ship him with Canada. Maybe with someone else in the Bad Touch trio, but that's relatively rare. About 35% of US UK shippers don't like France at all. If they ship Russia at all, there's a 90% chance that they ship Rochu. They often don't have any hetero pairs, and if they do, it's with minor characters. Most US-UK shippers are from the UK or the US, or another English-speaking country. Now for your horoscope. You're the kind of person who says, everything is technically incest in this show. You're tired of all the hate you get for your ship because it's popular, and you're tired of people calling your ship incest when clearly it isn't. Maybe you're not tired of it. Maybe you revel in it. Maybe it spurs you on and makes you love your ship more. Maybe it makes you want to fight and die for your ship. And maybe you're just a little bit too invested into this. You're also a fan of Cinderas and an America or England fangirl. Or you were one in the past. Scenario two, Fruck. In this case, America will be a wild card. You never know who they're going to ship him with. There is a higher chance that it will be Rusame, though. It's pretty hard to tell what kind of ships Fruk shippers will have, but you can tell that they often like rivalry pairs like Prahan and Rusame. They like the concept of a long-heated rivalry blossoming into a cute relationship. From here, there are two types of Fruk shippers. One type will only ship friendly rivalries and will stay away from duos that canonically hate each other's guts. The duo has to have at least some friendly moments and it can't be pure antagonism. That is the majority of Fruk shippers. A fraction of them, however, are the they hate each other but also fuck each other shippers. These are the people that ship things like Rusprus, Germano, and Rohan. These are the people that are into biting, blood play, and probably BDSM. They may or may not know that yet. You also love the face family concept and love face family artwork. Heck, these people tend to love the concept of families in Hitalia in general. You love the whole colonies as children concept and you love the wholesome family moments. You may be a person that tries to find a ship for every character. You really don't like US-UK. You've tried to tolerate it, but deep down, you still really don't like it. It's just not your cup of tea. Or you're just annoyed at how popular it is and all the annoying fangirls. No matter how old you are, you still feel a little bit of dislike for US-UK. Scenario 3. They ship neither Fruk nor US-UK. They either ship Frukas or a much rarer pair. 
These are often multi-shippers and or rare shippers. Eh, Fruck and USUK are overrated anyways. Spuck and Frusher are really where it's at. Okay, now time for the other ships. Crew can. These people often ship things like Hong Ice, and ships that make you wonder, huh, how did that ever become a thing? I don't remember those two ever interacting or having real life relations. You are what I call an eye candy shipper. You are into eye candy and cute fan art. You tend to ship things because it looks cute. If the fan art is cute enough or the fanfic is good enough, you'll ship it. For us, you're tired of all the frock versus US UK stuff and you've decided, you know what, let's ship France and America. Screw England. Most likely, you ship this just to piss everyone off. Rusame. They are kind of a wild card when it comes to ships. You never know who these people are going to ship. One thing we do know. You are a fan of the Cold War. You tend to be more on the hardcore side and tend to like other rivalry ships. You may or may not be a Homestuck, or maybe you were a Homestuck at some point. And one of your favorite characters is probably Russia. Rusliet. Okay, now we're at the interesting people. These are the people who are not afraid to ship anything. You have no shame. You don't care about your ship being problematic or PC. You don't care about being PC at all. You don't care about how controversial whatever you like is. No one can stop you from the thing that you like, and you don't care what others think. The older fans do wish that people would stop writing Russia as a monster, though. Unless, of course, they're into BDSM. They are the ones who are writing it. You probably have a thing for made Lithuania, too. You probably don't want to admit it, but you do. Rusprus. There are two types of people. You are either the person who likes pale, impossibly muscular, light-haired pretty boys on the cover of your yaoi doujins, where Russia is skinnier than he should be, or you're the person who is into BDSM and hardcore yaoi, because that's where almost every Rusprus fanfic ends up. Just kidding. They're all you're probably into things like killing stalking or Dennor. There is a 99% chance that you will also ship Sufin. 70% chance that you ship Hong Ice because Iceland is lonely and needs some love too. In fact, if they are a casual shipper of Dennor, then these are people that will ship for the sake of shipping. If a character exists, they feel like they have to find a ship for them because everybody deserves love. Oh, this country doesn't have a ship. Wait. Oh, this country is right next door. Let's just ship them. They often are the people that will have 10 different ships in their fanfiction at once. They'll ship things like Turkey and Egypt, Estlat, Robol. If this is their OTP, then they are a person that most likely focuses on the Nordics. And those people tend to be the people who make the best crack ships, art, and videos. Not everyone, but this is just a trend that I've noticed for those that live outside of the Nordic nations who like the Nordic nations best out of all the characters. These are the people who began the Iceland X Fridge and Norway X Butter. These are the people who will ship anything that they see. Anything. Germany and a stick? Shipped. Italy and pasta? Shipped. Bulgaria and stick? Make it a love triangle. Robol. You actually read the manga. Good for you. You are also probably a fan of Eurovision. And you're probably into light biting. Or vampires. Just seeing that fan art where Romania just... Ooh, yeah, nothing too violent, just whatever that is. Yeah, you like that. Those who ship hetero pairs. You will often ship other hetero pairs. You probably ship non-hetero pairs, but you decided that, you know what, today I don't want tea. I want coffee. I hardly ever have coffee. I miss the taste. I like some good old-fashioned black coffee without cream. I'll try something different. You're probably the person who shies away from what's popular as well. Character XOC. You're probably going through a weeb phase, and you're probably very young. Or you're just waiting for a character to be made because due to historical reasons, the two characters just be so perfect for this character. Incest shippers. You probably ship more incest. Because technically, everyone is related somehow, right? Or, oh, if only they weren't related by blood, they'd be so perfect for each other if they weren't related. I have wrong. Normally, the German cess people are all into BDSM. Japan or Itapan. 
You're tired of Japan being the third wheel. He deserves some love too. You also think that Jurita is overrated. Aushan. You ship Holy Roman Chibitalia. You tend to like historical ships. Or you're a basic shipper. You don't really ship often. You're not really into it all that much, so you just go off of what's canon and who has canon feelings for who. Pruhan. You love the childhood French trope and strong female characters. You probably ship Jurita. You also probably ship this ship since you first watched season 3, and damn it, you're sticking with it till the end. Rabbit Fujoshi's be damned. It's an old ship, but you like it. Pruhan and Aosan. You like the frying pan angle and may enjoy other love triangles. Edelweiss. Perhaps you have a refined taste. No one ever appreciates Switzerland. Everyone always forgets about him. He deserves happiness too. Besides, Switzerland is so sundere for Austria. Ameripan. You're probably a Wawa Roldondo shipper, which is a term I use for people that ship four basic ships that pair up all the Axis and allies together. They are called the Wawa Roldondo pairs because at the end of the movie, all the ships have a duet together. They are Jurita, Ameripan, Frock, and Rochu. Yes, you can technically pair everyone off with Nichu and Rusame, but I'm going off of the movie. Opposites attract. You like the concept. If only the rest of the fandom could see it. You also like fluff. A lot. You just like a fun, light-hearted chip every now and then. Liet Pol. Angst. 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 You're probably not Lithuanian. There are two types of Lit Pol shippers. The first is the basic shipper. They often play up Poland's cross-dressing a lot, and especially if this ship is just a side pair and not their OTP. You are probably still into the whole dom and sub thing, and probably stick to the same roles when it comes to ships. The whole concept of Sime and Uke, the one in the second half of the ship name always being on bottom and more feminine, etc. etc. You don't know that much about relationships. Maybe you haven't really dated someone or gotten too far with them. Maybe you're still really young and don't know how things work yet. It's okay. Your time will come someday. The second type are those who aren't afraid to ship Poliet. These people have truly mastered Poland's character. These are the people that are the exact opposite of the strictly Lietpo people. They are the type of person who will put Russia and Sweden on bottom. They often are older and know that relationships are more than just masculine and feminine roles and switching is a thing. They also tend to tone down Poland's cross-dressing and focus on other aspects of his characters. Lit Pole people in general either like it because everyone else ships it, or like minor characters and tend not to focus on the main eight. Lit Bell Shippers You're a 21-year-old nerd in college who looks 16 and is still into Italia and makes videos about it for- You love ships where the character has one-sided feelings. You probably also ship Sufin. You like the story of a person with one-sided feelings finally getting their wish. Maybe you are that person in real life. Maybe Belarus is one of your favorite characters and you can't think of anyone better for her than someone who can put up with all her shit and still somehow love her in the end. non sufin shippers. You are probably from the Nordics and or are Finnish. If not, you're living on the edge. You probably ship Denmark and Sweden or Estonia and Finland. Yeah, I know all 25 of you. You don't gloat about it though. You kind of need to stay under the radar. You're not a super aggressive shipper because you know that a small wave could knock your ship over, but you just keep sailing on. Spouse. You love historical pairs, and you love history. You're here for the history. Pruaus. You love rivalries. Far more than frock shippers. You're probably a Fujoshi. You are the hate each other but also fuck each other people. No rivalry is off limits for you. You love kismisitudes. You were probably a homestuck at one point. If not, then you would definitely love homestuck. You probably ship Rusame, or maybe that's too tame for you. No. Give me Pruliet. No. Give me Rohan. Give me Turk Greece. <laughs> chaos. Give me absolute shipping chaos. Polhun. You're probably Polish or Hungarian. You know these two are best friends in real life and ship them as countries, so you ship them in Italia too. 
you are probably also politically conservative. Ame Liet, Ame Bell, or Americano. You love fluff, because these are really fluffy ships. You are a manga reader who tends to have Lithuania, Belarus, or Romano as one of your favorite characters. You often think of Lithuania, Belarus, or Romano's as character more than America's. You are often shat upon by other America shippers, but you don't care. You see your ship as precious, and you're used to the hate. Also, Ame Liet is the least problematic Lithuania ship out there. It's the only one that can't be argued as abusive. So clearly, you've dodged a bullet, right? Now everyone's happy. Except the US UK shippers, Rusame shippers, Lit Pulse shippers, and every America fangirl. Kimchi Burger. Korea doesn't get enough love. He deserves some love even though he's banned. You're probably a big fan of APH Korea. And you're probably a fan of K-pop. Q-Can. You like wholesome friends that later become romantic. You probably read more fan fiction and don't pay attention to fan art much. Because there isn't much of your ship. Ned can. The people who ship Netherlands with anyone often are one of the following. Dutch, have Dutch heritage, or are history buffs. Nietzsche. Angst. 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 You like really girly men. You're probably into girls. You're probably at least bisexual. You just don't know it yet. Swiss Lich. I mean, they're technically not related, right? You probably don't know the difference between platonic and romantic attraction. Or, you like the Emoto genre. Or, Switzerland literally only interacts with two people. Who else am I supposed to ship him with? And that's about it. I may do another one of these in the future if I find more ships, but until then, that was one mark higher on your history test. Thank you for watching Hetafax. Hello, my fellow Italians. In the spirit of Valentine's Day, I thought it would be fun to do more things relating to ships. So while I wrote the script for this video, I had the idea of the Hetalia Shipping Awards. That's right. I'm planning on hosting a little fun event to show love and appreciation for Hetalia ships. Allow me to explain the categories and the rules. In the comment section below, I will take suggestions for each of the following categories until Valentine's Day. From there, I will post a poll in the next video that I post with the nominees. Don't worry, I will make sure that everything is fair and balanced so it doesn't turn out like the 2016 Crunchyroll Anime Awards. How will I do that? I have a system for each award. For the voted awards, I will only allow one award per ship. So vote wisely. You may make multiple suggestions, but I will end up filtering some of them. For example, if you list Fruck or USUK as underrated ships, the suggestion will be ignored. What I would define as an underrated ship is a ship that has less than a few hundred fanfictions on fanfiction.net. The Skiff Award will go to a really small, very unpopular ship that isn't crack, but is still pretty cool. These often have less than 10 or so fanfictions on fanfiction.net. I'll choose the most popular by whatever is most commented as a favorite ship. The deepest ship is basically the most angsty ship, the most dramatic and lore-filled, ships whose works make you emotional. There will be other awards that will be quantitative, for example, most fan fictions, etc. But that's about it. So leave your suggestions for these in the comments down below, and until then, keep on studying!